we have uh, something on this program that we've been doing for how many years, Scott? Uh, this is the 11th year. 11 years now, and do it about every month. It involves four words that were said first by one of the most famous guys in the state of Hawaii. He started selling tires back in the 50s, came up with the four most famous words in the history of advertising in the state of Hawaii. You know what words those are? Lex Brody's words, what are they? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, is it? We have the thank you very much awards. Please welcome the general manager of Lex Brody, Scott Williams. Hi, Scott. So we got another one, huh? Yeah, actually, um, we are on our 11th year. Um, we started this program when Lex turned 90. It was a way to continue his legacy. And the reason he used to say thank you very much, the reason he said that was thanking the public for watching his commercial. So it was his not so subtle message of when it was appropriate to be appreciative. And that's all the time for just about everything. Now, and we pick a winner. Uh, we've been picking 10 a year, and it's, it's been really special. And the, the winner we have this year is a young lady who just graduated from Nana Cooley High that wrote a very touching letter to her grandma. Hi there, young person from Nana Cooley High School. What's your name? Justine. Justine what? Spencer Kiave. And you just graduated. What are you going to do now that, now that you're in the real world? I'm going to go to college at LCC. Ooh, nice. Okay, LCC. You wrote a letter to grandma. Is that grandma? Yes. Hi, Grandma. Why don't you read the letter that you wrote saying thank you very much? Dear Grandma Lenara, I would like to start off by thanking you for all the things you did for me. You have been there for me, raising me up the right way ever since Mom died and Dad moved on with his life. You had inspired me so much by feeding me, taking care of me, and also teaching me how to do things on my own. This impact positively affected me because if it wasn't for you taking care of me like the way you are now, I don't really think I would be the person I am now. What I mean by those things is that if it wasn't for you taking care of me, I would be homeless living on the streets. But I'm glad you took care of me from a young age because I learned a lot from you, Grandma. Grandma, like you said, you're trying to finish the promise you gave to Mom, and you're almost finished with it. You're just waiting for me to finish school and get a good job, and hopefully hopefully, I learn from all the mistakes I did and learn from everything you taught me. Wow. Hey, Grandma. Grandma, it looks like we're going to nominate you for sainthood or something. What's your name? My name is Lenora Kiabi. You're pretty proud of her? Very. And she's going to go on to LCC. Yes, and uh, she liked to major in education. In education, oh, that's great. Well, we know she's got a great teacher because uh, we've seen this teacher somewhere before, Coach. We have to find out. Hi, what is your name, please, and where do you teach at Nanakuli? Jean Nishi, I'm the student activities coordinator at Nanakuli High and Intermediate School. And maybe my face looks a little familiar because I also was a waitress part-time at John Dominus for the Perry and Price show. That's right. Back in the day. No wonder. There Here come the four words. Count of three. One, two, three. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lex. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Justine. Here's Ms. Kane. Thank you very much. Enjoy.